Hello, in this video we're going to continue looking at properties of the ladder operators associated with the harnock oscillator. In particular we'll look at something called the number operator. So in the previous video we found the ground state of the system. Uh, we found that the, Hamil the time, dependent tr time independent Schrodinger equation um, for the ground state, which we define to be this ket with a zero in it. Zero here is just a label telling us that it's the ground state. This is not the number zero, it's the state zero. Um, gives us the value E0, which is h bar omega over 2. And we also found that we found that for any state n, which solves the time independent Schrodinger equation um, with uh, energy eigenvalue E n, if we act the raising operator a dagger m times, where m is just a positive integer, it's nothing to do with the mass, um, onto n, then we get another eigenstate of the system defined by this equation. Uh, which has energy en plus m h bar omega, again m being the integer. So what this tells us is that we can write down state n plus m in here. Again, this is always just a label inside the cat, but this is a convenient one because it's an energy eigenstate with energy eigenvalue n plus m, where these are the two relevant integers. Okay, putting this together, we see that we have the ground state, we have an infinite ladder of excited states evenly spaced in energy above that ground state, and so we get the total solution to the problem. The Hamiltonian acting on eigenstate n uh, is just equal to h bar omega times a dagger a plus a half acting on n. We've seen this before in, in a previous video. Um, and what this is telling us is that the energy eigenvalue associated with that is just h bar omega n plus a half where n is an integer labeling the state, and n here goes from um, uh, zero upwards. So zero is the energy of the ground state. So uh, what this is telling us, if we look at it, so this is, um, this is our Hamiltonian, this is our Hamiltonian rewritten, and this is an energy eigenvalue. So actually there's a simpler operator that we can define here, which is as follows. You see that the only difference in these two equations is that uh, this operator a dagger a has returned this integer n when acted on the state n, which is the state corresponding to the nth energy eigenstate. And so we define a dagger a to be this operator n, the number operator, whose defining equation is this. The operator n acting on eigenstate n, and it's an eigenstate of the Hamiltonian, gives us back uh, the integer n labeling the, the number of the state uh, times the state. So it's an eigenvalue equation for n. So this turned out to be a useful operator to work with in many scenarios. Let's take a look at the normalization uh, associated with these operators. So we know the following relations. We know that a dagger raises the uh, eigenstate, the next eigenstate up in the ladder, and the operator a lowers the eigenstate. Let's just do that schematically. That is, we have an infinite ladder of um, uh, energy eigenstates at different energies. The rungs of the ladder are evenly spaced by h bar omega. It has a bottom of a rung, even though there's an infinite number of rungs, they're all positive energy. The bottom rung lies at energy h bar omega over 2. Uh, and to starting from one rung of the ladder, one state, uh, we can go up to the next state using a raising operator, a dagger, uh, and we can go back down using a lower operator, a, lowering operator, a. So a daggers take us up the ladder, a's take us down the ladder. But so far we've only worked um, with these proportionality signs. Um, can we get the, uh, proportion, the constants of proportionality out the front here? Uh, and we can. To do so, let's go over to the worked example area. Okay. So to look at the normalization of these states, uh, we have that a dagger acting on n is proportional to n plus 1, and a acting on n is proportional to n minus 1. And we also have the definition of the number operator as a dagger a. And we know that the number operator acting on state n just returns the number n as its eigenvalue. So if we act from this on this from the left with bra n, we find that the expectation value of n in state n is, you guessed it, n. Um, but n is a dagger a. Uh, so this is n a dagger a n is equal to n. Uh, 
So then if we look at this, this is A acting on N, and this is the Hermitian conjugate of it. And so we have that A acting on N modulus square is equal to N, because that's just what this expression here says. And so we have that the length of the vector A acting on N, as given by the norm, is just equal to the square root of N. Okay, so we have that a acting on n is proportional to n minus 1, so it's n minus 1 uh, multiplied by some prefactor. The length of state n minus 1 is equal to 1 because all states in the Hilbert space must be of length 1. That means they're normalized, physical states are normalized. Uh, and so if a acting on n is proportional to n minus 1, a acting on n is of length root n, uh, and n minus 1 itself is of the length 1, then we put it all together and we see that a acting on n must equal the square root of n acting on n minus 1. Okay, so that's the normalization of this state. Let's do the same for uh, the raising operator, and I think I'll fit it on the same bit of paper here. So in this case, we can say that uh, the raising operator acting on n um, modulus square is equal to n a a dagger acting on n, like that, because it's just the emission conjugate of this thing over here. So we need to use the commutator. So this thing equals um, state n number operator n, which is a dagger a, um, plus the commutator a comma a dagger, acting on n. So if you expand this expression here, and let me move it a bit so that you don't see the, get the light on it. So it's, uh, if you expand this, a dagger a plus commutator a comma a dagger, uh, you'll find that you just get a a dagger again. Um, but this thing here is just uh, the identity operator as we've seen on the board. Uh, and so acting on the state n, we see that we have n plus 1. So uh, the length of the state a dagger acting on n, as given by the norm, uh, is, it's of length n plus 1, square rooted. And so just like before, we reasoned that a dagger n is equal to n plus 1 square rooted uh, n plus 1 through the same reasoning. Uh, and finally, I hope that was all visible. Finally, we can say that um, starting from the state 0, we can act the state a, we can act a dagger on 0 to get state 1, and that's normalized. Uh, if we apply this chain of reasoning um, from this normalization, you can see that acting a dagger n times on the state 0 gives us n factorial square rooted um, times the uh, state n. So this is just sorting the normalization out and then the raising and lowering operators can be used to deduce any state uh, given any other. Okay, thank you for your time.